All right, baby, it's Vidic here, and welcome back to Terraria, only using bombs. Now, I think last episode, pretty sure I did this during the episode, but we made our delicious boss stage for the Eye of Cthulhu, whenever that happen, ha happens to happen. Uh, I do not have an eye to spawn him yet, although I do have some delicious potions, a few of the best ones we need, especially um, swiftness, iron skin, regeneration, yada, yada, yada. Apart from that, though... Um, Obviously, our items are still doing really good. We got our rocket boots, all that good stuff. What we need to do is get something to actually be able to spawn the Eye of Cthulhu. Now, I checked before, and I do not believe that I have any lenses or any vile mushrooms, which is kind of sad because... And that, that's what you need to spawn them. You need some... Uh, oh, I got one lens right here. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's nice. Let's actually see. Um, I'll be able to tell if I have another lens. If it quick stacks it. No, well, I quick stacked everything else, so that kind of, that sucks. Either way, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the corruption. And we're going to go get our materials that we need to, of course, uh, let's put these worms back in here. To, of course, spawn the eye of Cthulhu. Man, where are all the flying eyeballs? Because that's what I need to kill to get lenses. I think I need, like, five of them, too. So that's going to be a lot of eyes I have to kill with these goddamn hand grenades, man. So I'm just messing with the colors here a little bit. We're on, like, retro, I think, right now. Uh, I can't really even tell what the difference is. Let me try to see right here. That's too trippy. Oh, okay. Trippy just makes it a little bit more orange, apparently. We'll just keep it on color for now. When we're in, like, the the, uh, the brighter areas, we'll test it out. Because I can't really tell here. We gotta kill some spiders now, though. Ooh, it looks like I was already down here. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass having to use these palms. I wish... Oh, I need to kill more slimes, too. We definitely need some sticky bombs. Because I am, like, just fresh out of those right now. I don't think I've seen, like, a monster. Well, I mean, the zombies out there. I have not seen a monster yet down here. There she is. There's that cutie. There's also one up here. Let's get it. Yeah. Ah, oh, these bombs are not bad, man. All right, so let's see what it is. I think they're vertebrae is what they are. So maybe we had... Ooh, I doubt we had any vertebrae. Oh, my God. Get the shit blown out of you, buddy. <laughs> so we're going to be slaying some of these guys for a while. I'll probably just throw together a quick little montage. Boom. There we go. There's a vertebrae. Hell, yeah. So we're going to get, like, ten of those. Oh shit, arms dealer has just arrived. I got three of these little crawlers here with me. I'm having a little trouble getting in a good spot. But uh, I also realized arms dealer doesn't really do anything for me. I can't really buy anything from him. But hey, another little fella to hang out with us, right? Oh, we got another vertebrae. There we go, three vertebrae. Getting them pretty quick, actually. Okay, so I just checked it, which is good that I did. And apparently, uh, it is not. There's no vertebrae involved in this, in this, in this uh, recipe. Uh, I think I got mixed up because I think the vertebrae is needed in, uh, what do you call it? Ooh, look at that. The vertebrae is needed for the destroy of worlds, or the eater of worlds, but, uh, not for the eye. So I think I might get a couple more of these since I'm down here. Maybe just get to, like, six, maybe. And then we'll head back up and try to get some lenses, because that's, that's exactly what we need. Well, shit, so apparently, okay, so good, I keep looking shit up, but I keep learning more and more. Uh, the eater of worlds, you need 15! Fucking vertebrae, guys. Fifteen. And I only have four. Um, and you need some, like, other vile stuff, but, uh, the mushrooms. But you know what? I'm gonna stop at five right now on the vertebrae. We're just gonna go out here. Oh, it's daytime. Well, shit. That means we can't even get lenses anymore. Okay, well, um, I think one of my worlds is nighttime. Let's check. If it's not, then uh, we might just have to go down, go down low and just get some more other stuff. Let's see. Ben? What's Ben? Okay, it's definitely daytime here. Well, what else could we try? Bomb some wood. Maybe it's nighttime. Oh, look at that. It's night. It's about to be nighttime here. So we'll hang out here and uh, get a shit ton of lenses, I guess. Oh, first eye. You better drop me a fucking lens, bitch. I fucking swear to God. Oh my God. I I killed like eight zombies. Finally get a goddamn eye spawn. We don't even get a lens. This is gonna take absolutely forever. Oh yeah, no eyes, but these fucking flying things and these crawly things will come out. That's for sure. Fucking three of them. The fuck, man? Get out of here with your little goddamn sand self. They're not even that hard. Hey, bombs are good. I love that the bombs have knockback. That helps <laughs> quite a bit. But, uh, doesn't change the fact that we're not getting any fucking... I got one eyeball so far. I've been doing this for, like, four fucking minutes. We are never gonna get six fucking lenses, I swear. Oh, here we go. Second one here. And, oh, we got lens. Hell yeah, there we go. Two lenses. Four more to go. Number three here. Yeah, baby, give me that lens. It seems like if I st st stand up here, they come a little bit more often, where I think 
they spawn because they know zombies can't get up here as easily. Or if I was like on a sky tower, I think they would spawn because they know zombies can't get up there. I mean, look at it. Another one right here. And another lance. Hell yeah. Two more. Yes. That was fucking sexy. Ooh. Oh, come on. Come on. Give me a fucking lens. Yeah, we got the lens. I was scared. Look at the moon. Look at the right side of the screen. The moon's literally about to go down. I almost didn't get that last fucking lens. Fuck. Yeah, that was so close. That would have been pissed. That would have sucked. So let's go back to our main map, the Baum. And we're going to find out where we can put this thing together. First, I want to I wanna buy some more grenades. Uh, just so we don't forget and uh, have nothing for the Eye of Cthulhu. So there we go. All right, let's go find a altar, because that's where we got to go make this thing. And I know there's one way over here uh, at the corruption, whatever you call it. All right, we have made it. Get out of here, asshole. Let's make our eye. Where is it? Please tell me it's here. Yeah, give me that, baby. Woo, got our suspicious looking eye. That is awesome. All we got to do now is wait until nighttime, and we're going to be fighting the Eye of Cthulhu. Also, one thing I noticed is my platform, these aren't long enough. I should probably make this boss area thing a little bit longer to the right because it is a little short uh, so I'm gonna improve on this a little bit and then we'll probably go down and do a little spelunking uh, while we wait for nighttime to finally come alright we're heading down here go oh. are you fucking slime that piece of shit it like it hit me I was I was falling down it fucking hits me to the side and somehow let me probably heal myself somehow that doesn't equate to uh, like a jump to remove the 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 uh, the fall damage. Oh, the goblin tinker has finally arrived, guys. Yes. Okay. Uh, but yeah, what the hell, man? Normally, if you do even a tiny little jump, it's like, oh, you're all good, man. You don't have to worry anymore. But apparently, you do. Okay. So, 17 gold. I thought we had more, but I guess we don't. Let's go ahead and head in here and buy ourselves a tinkerer the workshop, which we will place right here. Uh, oh yeah, we can because of that stupid shit. So, oh, actually, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? Let's do this. I think we can place... Where are our wood platforms? There they are. I think we can place, like... How, how would this have to be? How low can I place these? There we go. Right there, and then I think I can place it here. Oh, look at that. That works. Oh, shit. All right, that's not bad. So, uh, let's see if I have anything I can tinker. Oh, I took away the her torch. Put it back. Let's see if I have anything that I can combine... Um, probably not, but, uh, you know, it's worth a try. And I'm an idiot, because I completely forgot, since I haven't recorded a few of these, that I had two fucking suspicious-looking eyes sitting in here, and I didn't have to go get any lenses or anything. So, uh, that was pretty funny. Ooh, would you look at that? We got some stuff we can tinker! Hell yeah! We got our tiger climbing claws, which combines the top and the bottom ones, and of course, we also have our Spectre Boots, which is the one thing I knew we were going to be able to get, which is amazing, because it puts the Rocket Boots and it puts the Fast Running Boots, that's how I call stuff, uh, together. Let's also make some Sticky Bombs. Those could come in use. And then what else do we want to put on ourselves? I, the quick, I like the Panic Necklace. Uh, I like the Regeneration Band. That's not bad. Eem, we have, like, nothing else now. Oh, well, obviously, we'll put our claws on, and then... I mean, movement speed's actually not that bad, so let's do, let's go ahead and do movement speed. Alright, we're gonna head down here again, hopefully, hopefully I don't come up too late, because I'm just trying to wait till it's nighttime. I think that should only be a few minutes, so we should be able to, ooh, handle that pretty well. So let's keep going down, I'm just gonna explore a little bit more, look for more treasure, something weird just happened there. Alright, alright, I, I, I want to go over here to the right for some reason, but there's lava, so what should we should do... Okay, that's not gonna work. We're just gonna throw a sticky bomb. Actually, let's just throw a normal bomb. I think that, that'll work, too. Can't even tell where it is. Oh, it's right here. That didn't work out. I wanted it to. I did want the lava to spill a little bit. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God, you asshole. <laughs> I did not see that guy coming. Okay, let's let's go back. Let's also put away our money. I noticed our money is sitting right there in the inventory. Pretty stupid. Okay, what? I wish I could see the fucking sun so I could see what goddamn time it was. Oh, what? I just killed one of those things. Ah, shit. And we just got an intrepid obsidian rose, which reduces damage from touching lava, which is probably really bad, actually. That doesn't help me at all. But I was blowing up these little uh, pots, and I noticed one of them gave me a titan potion, which increases knockback. 
And, uh, I mean, honestly, any any kind of potion that gives you any kind of buff is gonna be very useful. So I'm gonna stay down- Oh, they also give, uh, health potions. So I'm gonna stay down here a little bit while we wait. Oh, some bombs, too. And, uh, get all these delicious little potions and health stuff, and, uh, we'll be better off in the boss fight. Oh, wow. Okay, so I was waiting until it was nighttime, and just to show that this fight was fate- fucking ready is I get the you feel an evil presence watching you that means that is the natural spawn of uh, what do you call I of Cthulhu because he'll just spawn at some point if you never fight him so pretty uh, coincidental that it happened right now so we're just still waiting till nighttime everything ready so right when it comes we're gonna start pooping on him all right guys so if you look in the bottom left corner of the screen you can see that it's nighttime and the Eye of Cthulhu has awoken. So now, on our account, which we can only use bombs, we are going to attempt to defeat quite possibly the easiest boss, the first boss you ever fight, and that is the Eye of Cthulhu. So, where are... We got our potions, we got a few different, um, little boosts right here, swiftness and such, and some Titan potions. We're pretty much going to be using grenades for the whole fight, 60 damage. So, uh, let's see how we can do this. Let's do it. I am planning... Ugh, I am planning on, um, uh... Possibly teleport. Okay, let's do this. Possibly teleport. Oh god, this is horrible. Okay, her one good thing is her. Um, gotta remember, I have a uh, her her little eye things do like no damage on me, so that's nice. They do like one, and uh, that's not bad. So far, so good. And we're destroying her. This is not even hard. This is the easiest shit. I mean, I do have pretty good armor, but uh, and you know what? Hold on, I took this off. I mean, I put this back on. Hold on, hold on. I put back on this stupid cloud in a bottle, but it's fucking with me. Because the, uh, all I need, all I need are my meteor, my, my meteor, I might be able to talk right now. All I need are my, what do you call these? Where are they? Oh, rocket boots. Well, they're, they're not rocket boots now. This is easy, man. I'm going to be able to fight another one of these in the same night. I thought this was going to be super hard and I was going to be all struggling, but man, like this, this might, this whole series might be fucking possible, guys. I don't know about like <laughs> hard mode bosses and stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that later, but for now we are fucking beating the shit out of this guy. We might be able to do two in one night, actually. Alright, second form. Uh, it's a little harder, but now that I think about it, it might actually be easier because he charges at you a lot more and doesn't really throw stuff, and that's kind of what we need, is for him to charge at us. So let's relax, Mr. Eye of Cthulhu. Just take it easy, okay, buddy? Oh, man. The one bad thing about bombs is you can't hit yourself with them, and they do a good amount of damage. Sometimes a little 40, 40 or so with my defense. Um, wow though, this is, this is, this is the easiest shit. I have almost done it in like a minute. This is amazing. Get out of here, I have Cthulhu. You suck, bitch. All it takes is a few grenades to kill you. Get out of here, hell yeah. We got a Crimtain Ore. Um, I guess we, that's all we get is Crimtain Ore and some money. But that's all good. It's very nice. Uh, you know what though? Uh, that was so easy. I'm gonna fucking do it again. Um, either way though, that was awesome. That was the first boss we have defeated. I have Cthulhu on our only using bombs account. Uh, many more to come, which won't be easier. Next is obviously going to be Eater of Worlds or something like that, but we'll figure all that stuff out later. For now, let's go kill a few mo. Wee! Come on, I have Cthulhu! You were so easy, I'll, I'll have you again. Maybe I can kill all three in one night. That'd be nice. I wouldn't really have to worry about Crimtain or anymore. Um, and that would be a lot easier. I would love to get, um, to beat, what do they call it? What's that, what's that other, uh, the brain? Cthul brain of Cthulhu, because the brain of Cthulhu, that armor is really good for my account. Because most stuff, uh, it gives you a higher critical chance. Does this have critical chance? It actually does. It gives you, uh, it gives you, like, higher range damage, melee damage, stuff like that. I don't need any of that. I want to have higher health regeneration, and that's exactly what the uh the brain of cthulhu gives you so hopefully we can somehow find a way to beat the brain of cthulhu because i know he's a he's pretty damn hard especially with bombs it's gonna be real real tricky um but maybe we can do oh we ran out of bombs i wasn't throwing anything get back up there oh babe yeah the good thing about bombs too is the splash damage i've realized especially for a boss like i have cthulhu where um let's give a couple here where he spawns a bunch of other enemies and actually the the brain of cthulhu too does spawn other enemies which is what makes it hard so maybe these bombs we're gonna make all these fights extremely fucking easy. Alright, you should be dying any second now. There we go! Get out of here, bitch! Give me all that delicious stuff. Crimtain, yada yada yada. Very awesome. So that's great. Um, oh wait, we have one more. Let's do it again! Why fucking not, man? Three in one night. That's great. Just balling them up, man. 
You didn't get shit on me, I have Cthulhu. I never even had to use my nurse. And I thought people might call me a cheater because I used it, but I didn't even have to. Didn't even have to, man. Where's the fucking Eater of Worlds when you need him? Because I'm going to beat the shit out of that guy, too. All right, any moment now. This guy's going to be dead once again. There we go. Hell yeah, awesome. So, uh, apart from the all the all the delicious ores we got, we also got a lot of money. So now we got 11 extra gold. That's going to help us basically replenish our hand grenades because these things are expensive as fuck. Let's see how much we probably spent. I don't know. We probably we only spent a couple gold. So that's actually a nice way to make a little bit of money. So there we go. We have just defeated the Eye of Cthulhu three times and got some great rewards for it. So let's see what we can do with this ore now. Let's put away all this bullshit. Hold on. I want to clear up my inventory. Oh, we have another one. Okay, fuck it, man. Why goddamn not? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. The fourth fucking fight. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> wow, this is so great. This is so great. I hope they're all this easy. Oh, our life is actually getting a little low. Let's be careful here. Let's just beat him really quick. And not die. Oh, God. Not die. Not die. There we go. Hell yeah, give me the health. We fucking did it, guys. Four. I was worried about this one. And we just did four. So I think we're doing pretty good. So let's see how many goddamn bars we can make out of this. Definitely multiple stacks. Oh, no. Just almost one whole stack. Awesome. So first of all... We might not even have any use for these bars, so 36 gold is quite amazing. Um, but let's see, yeah, we let's see what we can make with it. I think we need to kill another boss to get the tissue samples. Or no, no, we just need an anvil. I just wasn't near the anvil. I'm an idiot. Okay, so we got the flesh catcher, so that's nice. Um, may or may not make that. We'll see. I might get. It. I might be able to get a better fishing pole before I need it. Then we obviously have all these weapons, and then the armor is what I think requires um, the stuff. But let's see what we can. Let's see it. I think I think the art. This is the armor I actually want. So there you go. Tissue samples. This gives you. Oh, it gives you increased damage too. So that's perfect. Increased damage, and then the set bonus is that it gives you uh, extra other. It gives it gives you extra healing. Awesome. All right then, guys. I think I'm going to end off the episode here. Next episode, we're going to start doing a little bit of research, find out what we need to do to destroy the brain of Cthulhu, as I put away all this shit I don't need. What we need to breathe the brain of Cthulhu, because then we can get some tissue samples, make our awesome armor, and then be on our way to kill all the rest of the bosses. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I upload more Terraria. And have a nice day.